pay watching Volgord's videos, and I just tried to do this video a third time, and I completely forgot a big spot, a big thing I was going to say. So I'm going to start all over. Alright, so, um, basically it's like a video vlog, or vlog, and I want to get this down before, um, so I can make some more videos, because, you know, I want to make some reviews and stuff, and yeah. Um, first thing I did was, like, last Thursday, it was a week ago, and I got, I went to registration. Here's my picture for my school card. Yeah. Look at that nerd. So I did that. After that, I went to DMV, and I got this. I got, actually got a learner's permit. And, yeah, pretty awesome. I can actually drive a car now. And, you know, it's a big difference driving from your farm and your driveway to driving on the road. On, on the road to get to town and back is pretty easy, but I actually got to drive um, on the highway. And it's pretty tricky, you know, at first to stay in your line when you're, I don't know, I'll get better. Anyways, um, so after that, the next day, my grandpa went to, we, I went with my grandpa at like 9, 9 in the morning, and we went to Best Buy because his laptops were freaking out. Basically, he dropped it, um, he dropped it, let's see, in, back in January, and so, uh, like, months later, it's like starting to freak out, and so if you plug in your AC, plug in the AC adapter, it won't charge. What will happen is it'll say, adapter plugged in, but not charging. It's really stupid. So then he'll, like, slap it underneath or, like, pop it in really quickly, jam it in, and then it'll start charging for a few minutes. And sure enough, when we took it to Best Buy, the Geek Squad, it, it was charging. Sure enough. And, uh, he did a virus scan, did all this stuff, tried to fix it, you know, all this pop-ups popping up, Google Updater, and all this other crap. And, uh, also, before it, the Vista start menu, it wouldn't look like that. It would look like the start menu from Windows 95 or 98. Or probably even Millennium, you know that old start menu. And now when we took it there, it it showed up like like fine, like the Vesta menu. Don't know what was up with that, but yeah, my grandpa actually spent like eighty, no like well like sixty two bucks. He sent it in before, and they said, oh, it's the power adapter. When it wasn't, it was like a loose connection inside, a loose some with the pa the motherboard or something. And then uh, they sent it back to the power adapter, so we had to send it back and do the whole thing all over again. But when I, was at, when I was at Best Buy, I actually got to try a Mac, and I think a Mac is pretty cool, actually. I mean, I just wish it was cheaper to get Parallels or um, VMware, so that you can do Windows stuff on it. But my pro, uh, the one thing that bugged me, not really bugged me, but I, it was kind of sad how they don't have it hooked up to the internet, so you can try out the stuff that's internet-based. I didn't really get to try it that much, just got to touch it, because I never got to touch a Mac a new, actually new Mac until then. It was quite an experience. Got to touch the keyboard and everything, yeah. And then uh, I went around to the MP3 player section and there was an iPod Touch. I'm like, mm, an iPod Touch. Ooh, ooh, an iPod Touch. Ooh, yeah. And then I actually got to play it off it. And my opinion on iPod Touch has actually changed. I used to hate the iPod Touch. I used to think they're only for smug, rich people that only, that, that think it's better than the Zune just because it's got a, a, just because it's made by Apple, or because it has a bigger screen. Because all these people, I get these, I still get, I still get comments this day saying, oh, uh, like on my Zune review, they'll say, oh, Zune sucks, the iPod Touch is better. When they're completely different, yes, they're both MP3 players, but hey, uh, the Zune has a, what, 2.8 inch screen, or no, 3.1, whoa, B, a 3.1 inch screen or something like that. And the videos play pretty well, pretty nicely. But you can't put them in, f in folders, that's the only downside. And with the, the what was it called, iPod Classic, the, the screen's smaller, it's only 2.5 inch. And so people always say, oh, the Zune sucks, get, get an iPod Touch. iPod Touch, $300 for 8 gigs. Okay, why would you want to spend $300 for 8 gigs? It's stupid, you can't even stick enough videos on there to make it, to take advantage of it. Really. At least for me, I'd actually put my music on there too, and I have like around 2,500 MP3s, and half of them are just just stuff I hardly I don't so half the stuff maybe 500 songs I could I can get away with not listen to, but 2,000 stuff I would listen to 
on a daily basis, not a daily basis, but all the time. Like, all my Metallica CDs, um, you know, all the stuff. I can't just choose what I want. And if I spend $300 for an MP3 player, I'd want to put all my stuff on it. Okay? And so anyways, I was trying it out, and I'm like, wow, I could really use see myself using this every single day. I have a wireless router, you know, so I could browse the internet, I could watch YouTube from my chair, and have my brother use the computer and have him stop complaining. It would be pretty cool, but I still think it's overpriced. $300 for 8 gigs is just too much. I don't care who you think you are. 8 gigs, 300 bucks, that's like spending um, 50,000 50, for a, a Toyota Corolla. I mean... Or they didn't have Corolla still? They should. Yeah, and so I just think it should be. There should be no 16 gig version. There should be a 32 gig version that's like Flash, and that should be like $200, 250 around there. There should be no iPod Classic anymore. That should be gone, okay? Because it's so obsolete. It, they've had that same style for years. Take that out. In fact, the, they should take out the iPod Classic. And I have only the iPod Nano that's like sort of like that. It can play videos and stuff, have the bare bones iPod. You know, and you can be from 8 gig to 16 gig. This is very practical. I can see this happening, hopefully. And then um, the iPod Touch could be like 32 gig to 80 gig, a flash version and a hard drive based version. And it can be 250 gig for the 16 gig and then like 350 or something like that for the. Um, 80 gig, and I would actually buy it, and I would put myself through the misery of using iTunes, or maybe if there's a way to get around iTunes, that'd be sweet, because I don't know, I've heard had people tell me you can actually use Windows Media Player somehow, and uh, I would actually do that, because there's no other product com that competes with it, there's the the stupid Samsung, Samsung thing that's supposed to say, oh, it's better, but it can't even go in iTunes, or it can't, iTunes, it can't even go surf the web, it can't do half the stuff the iPod Touch can do. Just play videos and music. However, it does have a pretty sweet equalizer. Alright, next topic. Um, I got left. Oh, on that seven minutes. Crap. Um, I got a new game. Forza Motorsports is freaking hard. The only reason why I bought it is because it was four bucks. Got a GameStop, which GameStop sucks, but it came with a book. Oh, this time there's an Xbox, but yeah. I think four bucks is a pretty good deal, considering it's like all perfect, you know, I just noticed this, not for individual sale. Why? Maybe it's a rental store, but whatever. And then, um, Saturday, I went to my buddy Michael's house. You might be able to see him in one of my videos, and I actually got shot with a BB gun. Has that ever happened to you? Shot with a BB gun. I actually have the BB right here. Yeah, and it was fun getting out. I had to take a razor blade, and... Yeah, if you are squeamish, you might have thrown up already. And yeah, and so it's a, since Saturday, Sat Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days, and it's looking a bit better. I had my friend take a picture of it. Let's see, battery's gone. The battery's gone. I had my friend take a picture of it, and it looked pretty gruesome. It looked pretty disgusting. But it actually doesn't hurt that bad. I mean, when I stepped on a nail, that really hurt. When I got stung by a bee, you know, people say getting stung by a bee doesn't it doesn't hurt, but when I actually got shot by it, it didn't hurt. It just kind of hurt when I uh, when I bump it, you know, because it's a little sore. It's an open wound. And it hurt a little bit when, I don't know, when I was trying to cut this flesh. That hurt a, a tiny bit, but I don't know. I guess I, my body shut the pain out because I couldn't even feel anything. Crazy stuff. So I want to hear about your experience with an iPod Touch, what you think about it. I want to hear about Forza. I want to hear about driving. And I want to hear about if you ever got stuck with BB gun. Those are Laura's videos, and yeah, I'm coming from a Subaru Live.